January 2022, we experienced one of the most devastating cyclones called Cyclone Anna. washed away most of the water systems, a number of boreholes were submerged, and most of the boreholes were contaminated with bacteria to the extent that almost 97 were closed off until we undertake some kind of water quality testing. Yeah, the, the effects of uh, uh, climate change actually has been felt within Ivasha. We had uh, lake levels rising in uh, Kehoto, uh, whereby it affected quite a number of people. Some of them needed to be evacuated. And again also it affected the way we are providing services to them because some of them uh, still needed access to water. I know also they had challenges with uh, sanitation, and, uh, with, with the rising levels, they, they were affected. <laughs> Mazabuino, <laughs> Sanivation partners with local governments in East Africa to solve the sanitation problem. The community around us right now is not uh, how we found it. It has been better in terms of sanitation. A lot of waste used to find itself in the, in the community or in the society. And while removing the sludge and the dirt from the community, bringing it here, is one way of making our community clean and it has made our society healthy. Co-op and Water Unite have allowed us to partner with new local governments and take an innovation that allows cities to be clean, healthy, and productive to, to new locations and, and be able to sort of ensure waste is being treated safely, uh, ensuring that we're helping to curb deforestation by providing a renewable energy product. Um, so really thankful for the partnership with Co-op and Water Unite.